Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we are going to take a quick look at this target from Infinite Defense. This here is one of their Infinity targets. This is one of their Gen 1 targets. So to be clear, there are Gen 2 targets which are thinner, they're lighter weight, but they're equally, if not better performing than the original Gen 1. Now this you see here, and the reason why I bring it up, this looks pretty much brand new. As you take a look at it here in detail, it does look pretty much brand new, but no, no, this has been well used. In fact, not crazy used considering the overall capabilities. This has about 500 rounds through it. And as you take a quick look at the back here, you're not gonna see it too, too much because this is self-healing, but you can see some of the areas where it has a concentration of rounds. So, the reason why I bring it up, well, and I'm not gonna say I've exactly tortured this thing, but I have done a number of different sort of experimental ideas utilizing this exact target. So what I thought I'd do is show you some of the things that I've tried, and more than anything else, it kind of proves why Infinite Defense got this right. They nailed it. They nailed the white and black. They nailed the paint application. They nailed the overall concept. Everything about this just works. So today's video kind of goes through some of the things that I've done in order to play around with this experiment, have some fun, and just different ways that I've used these targets to give you some ideas, or at least to sort of describe what these have gone through and how I got it back to pretty much just about brand new perfect condition. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Infinite Defense who did provide this for review. And so as we get into this, you can see that these come from the factory with white primer, and then obviously it's black rubber underneath. And my typical sort of preference is to actually use some rollable primer to coat everything. I like to take my time. To me, some of this work is just quite honestly a little bit therapeutic. I like teching on my gear. You'll see that I roll this out. I'm able to leverage a hair dryer just to kind of dry things up in between coats real quick. And that allows me to get right back on this with some wet paint, dry it off real quick. And it really does end up with a perfect finish. Now you will see that I have actually tried a couple of different experiments to leverage these targets in a number of different ways. So gritting this out actually has become a great way to spread out my shots, utilize this target in a bunch of different ways. And the key for me is not shooting too many rounds through the same exact zone because that will definitely start to blow out the rubber. But by spreading out my shots and leveraging different portions of the target strategically it does allow me to spread out my shots over time and hopefully increase the life of this target now here you can see i am shooting 556 five, this target is more than capable of handling 5.56 five, rounds and a lot of them at that i did happen to find that actually this is a lot less damaging than nine millimeter but the easy thing is well, just quickly touching this up again. I like teching on my gear. I like having a little bit of fun. And you can see just a little bit of therapy here as I touch up my target. Now, not only have I literally gritted out this entire target, but I wanted to test out the idea of breaking this up even more and leveraging colors. So here you can see taking a number of different colors splitting up the target and giving me different zones to shoot at. Now what I can tell you is Infinite Defense absolutely got this right going with the white and black combination. After a bunch of shooting, you will see that it's not that easy to actually see my shots on the different colors, but I do have to say it's real easy to pick up on the colors at distance while you're shooting. So even though you're not able to easily see the results of your shooting, it is easy to aim at different parts of the target when you break it up with different colors. So you kind of really need to think about what you're doing and why you're doing it. I just, more than anything else, wanted to experiment. I wanted to have some fun and I wanted to really enjoy my targets and make a little bit of a project out of it so I could test these out and try different things. But you can see the results here. 
On the red, almost impossible to see your shots. The white, way more clear. The yellow wasn't too bad. The green was okay. And the blue was also very difficult to see the shots. So all things considered, Infinite Defense absolutely getting it right. Leveraging the white primer with the black rubber to really let your shots pop and really stick out while you're in your shooting sessions. But again, this was more than anything an experiment for me and just having some fun. Now after time and time and time again rolling out this target, I did decide I wanted to try to restore it. So leveraging a heat gun, hot air gun, real simple, and a little bit of a putty knife, after about 15 minutes, I was able to get this completely stripped free. Once the heat started working on the paint, I had absolutely no problem getting the paint to fleck off. It was very simple, and you can see I almost got this down to bare rubber. And then at that point, really simple, I just rolled it back out with my primer, and I was good to go again. Again, as we get a quick look at this, you'll notice how smooth and how even this finish is now that it's gone back on. Of course, you can spray. I choose to roll whenever possible. And again, the one thing that I probably do wrong, it would be maybe better to use an oil-based versus a water-based uh, you know, primer. But to me, it doesn't matter because you do have the ability to restore this. Now I could take it a step further and take my time and kind of dig out some of these cracks and get those black lines back in there. That can certainly be done. The other thing you can do is leverage a Sharpie or you could leverage a black paint marker and then really just kind of bring all these lines back and darken that up. And that would also help out with the silhouette. But all in all, I mean, this looks really good. The finish is even. I was even able to get that stencil back into place. So that worked out extremely well. Just really, really cool that you can do this. So having an infinity target definitely does come into play, especially when you have the ability to rehab this and get it back looking fresh. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the Infinite Defense Gen 1 future videos covering their Gen 2 products. I hope you found that informative, just having some fun leveraging this target in a number of different ways, getting out and experimenting, working on my shooting, just enjoying the fact that I have a nice quality target that you can play with. But more than anything, you can restore it. You can bring it back to like new condition. If you take care of it and you spread your shots out and you think about it a little bit and you just plan ahead, everything can go very well. These infinite defense targets are awesome. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Infinite Defense who did provide this for review. And if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless channel, which is more on my primary gear. On that channel, I cover everything from hiking, camping, and backpacking excursions, all the gear that goes with it. So from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, backpacks, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.